Sometimes when we're treating men with prostate cancer, we find that we get to the end of the available treatments that we may have for his disease. At the end of the day, though, we can't cure advanced prostate cancer. And so a time comes when we realize that we don't have any options left in our traditional therapies. We know that prostate cancer is moving forward by a couple different ways. During treatment, we regularly monitor the PSA. And the PSA is a protein made by prostate cancer cells and actually by normal prostate cells, um, but made by prostate cancer cells in these patients that sort of correlates or goes in the direction of their disease progress. If the PSA is going up, usually that means that a patient's disease is progressing, though we always do imaging to confirm that. When I say imaging, I mean using things like bone scans or CAT scans, sometimes MRIs, to get pictures of where the disease may be growing in their, their bodies. So I think as the disease progresses, you know, it involves more and more of the organ systems of the body, so particularly in the beginning bone and lymph nodes and things, but it can certainly progress to involve other organs. When prostate cancer becomes more advanced, men experience symptoms that are related to where the prostate cancer is growing. The most common symptom is actually fatigue and loss of appetite. And as prostate cancer becomes very advanced, sometimes men can experience a change in taste of their food. And men often describe a metallic taste or food just not tasting good. And that's due to proteins that the prostate cancer cells are producing while they're growing in the body. And as it's sort of spreading through the body, it increasingly sort of usurps the body's normal systems, the maintenance of your body and things for its own needs to grow as a tumor. So this is why I think sometimes you see um, men who as they progress through their prostate cancer they get less appetite, they start losing weight and, and other manifestations of the disease as it progresses and, um, and some of that is a combination of the treatments as well as the disease itself but um, I think that's sort of how it affects them on a global sense uh, fatigue, decreased appetite, pain, that, that type of thing. In addition, men can experience increasing pain in any area where the disease is growing in their bones. Um, we often use radiation to try to reduce that pain, but that is one of the major complications of the disease. Weight loss can happen as men find that nothing tastes good and they lose their appetite. They often will lose weight, um, but fatigue, anorexia, and pain are probably the most common symptoms. Sometimes when we're treating men with prostate cancer, we find that we get to the end of the available treatments that we may have for his disease. And the good thing, I think, is that there are many treatment options for men with prostate cancer, so it usually takes us quite a long time to get there, years often, because there are so many options for treatment. Palliative care services and hospice services are actually often provided by the same group of people. And so once a man has progressed on palliative services such that he is no longer able to take treatments for his prostate cancer, even those oral treatments, he can transition pretty seamlessly to hospice services with the same group.